Hello everyone. Welcome to our video series on data science using Python. So in this video, we will delve into the fundamental concepts of linear algebra. So in this video, we will see the linear algebra operations in Python. Okay. Then we will see the determinants of of matrix, how to find the rank of matrix, inverse of matrix, and solving system of equations. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with the determinant of matrix. Okay, to calculate the determinant of a matrix. The matrix it should be a square matrix. So it can be a two cross two matrix, or it can be a three cross three matrix, or it can be a four cross four matrix. So for the calculation of the determinant of a matrix, we are going to use the NumPy library because NumPy is a powerful library for numerical computations in Python, and it provides a straightforward way to calculate the determinant of a matrix so for finding the determinant of matrix it is going to return or determinant of the matrix so the syntax so the syntax for finding the determinant of the matrix is and inside the determinant method we have to write the name of our matrix. Okay, so now let's do what? Let's create a matrix first. So before creating a matrix, first of all, we have to import NumPy. So we will import NumPy as NP. And those who have not installed NumPy yet, so they can use this command. Okay, so when you run this command, Could take few minutes okay now in my case requirement already satisfied because I have already installed it and if you have not installed then it will get installed now let's create a matrix for that so I'm going to create a four cross four matrix So this is our matrix X. Now we will create a object in which we are going to calculate our determinant. So np dot linear algebra dot determinant. Then we'll put our X inside it, and let's just print. The object debt underscore matrix. So this is the determinant for our matrix that is 128. Okay, now let's just find the rank of a matrix. So rank of a matrix is used to find the number of linearly independent rows and linearly 
independent columns okay so this will be the code which will use which will return a rank of a matrix and the syntax is numpy dot linear algebra dot matrix underscore rank we will put our matrix inside it. So now we'll just calculate our rank of matrix in this X matrix only. So let's just do what? Let's create a rank underscore matrix object. So NP dot. Now let's just print our rank underscore matrix object. So this is the rank for our square matrix, which is four cross four, and the matrix is also means the rank of the matrix is also four. Now let's just find the inverse of a matrix. So now. The formula for the inverse of matrix is as you can see the inverse formula is a inverse equals 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a so for finding the uh, for finding the inverse of matrix in python we can use this method that is numpy dot lin elge means linear algebra dot i and b method. So it will return it will return the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. Syntax is numpy dot let's just do what let's create a matrix of three cross three square matrix, okay. Now for separating each row from the other, we have used a semicolon. And now we will print A. So this is our matrix and we'll create an object and we'll apply our method. This is the inverse of our matrix. And this is how we can find the inverse of our matrix. Now, let's just see the system of linear equations. So, a system of linear equation is a collection of one or more linear equations involving the same set of variables. Okay. Suppose these are this is a 
three linear equations okay and we have to represent these three linear equations in the form of ax equals b so for that we can use this method dot solve which will return ax equals b so now let's just do what let's just extract our first create our two matrices because in this means the syntax is so here a will be our matrix and b will be our constants okay a will be the coefficients of all the variables and b will be the constant so for that we have to extract the a first so for that what we can do we can create a matrix in that matrix we will specify all the coefficients of x y and z And at last there is 3 1 and 2 so this is our first matrix then then we'll give our constants so our constants are 9 8 and 7 and then we have to transpose and then we have to transpose our matrix so for that we will apply the transpose method on our matrix b and now just let's create object solution in that we will apply then we'll give our a matrix and then b and let's just print So here we got the values of x, y, and z. So now, using NumPy to solve a system of linear equations is efficient and straightforward. Only by representing the system in matrix form, you can just leverage the powerful linear algebra functions provided by the NumPy to find the solution very quickly. And you can print in this way also you can use the f strings for that what you can do you can just simply In this way also you can print your values so that's all for today i hope you like this video thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video